On September 23rd, the leaders of the three countries announced that they had signed up to what is known as the Alliance of Sahel States. The formation of this coalition coincided with a green trade to Niger from the economic community of West African states and its tax went beyond simply fighting the group. It also included military cooperation and joint security work to deal with the armed groups that see the Sahel region as a suitable place to build their military forces. The Alliance's ideology and successful, independent initiative have encouraged other African states to strengthen the ties with Alliance members, which could pave the way for its expansion and the admission of new members. According to political analysts, Chad is now following the footsteps of other Alliance countries in the modernization of its economy, its politics, and its armed forces. Following the presidential elections, the transition to independence will be complete and sovereignty over the country's internal and external policies will be established. Experts also predict, especially after the visit of the government's representative from the Sahel Alliance country, that Chad will soon become a member of the Sahel Alliance. A senior Malian government official said that the purpose of the Chadian delegation's visit was to discuss Chad's membership of the Sahel Alliance which Assimigweta enthusiastically welcomed is a positive step reflecting the Debi government's effort to free itself from French dependency and to protect the national borders. The same official added that during the Chadian delegation's visit to Nyame three days ago, Brigadier General Abdurrahman Tiani, President of the National Council for the Protection of the Homeland and Head of State of the Republic of Niger, had given his approval for Chad's accession to the Sahel Alliance.